Go! <clears throat> hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm lucky. Channel's game on. We're rocking out some more Dragon's Dogma 2. Let's continue. There's a merchant shop down here I want to go check out. Let's see if it's still here. We want to talk to you. Or see if we can get to it yet. It's also a shop to customize your character right here. You want to redo the appearance, right? Or her appearance or his appearance? Where is this shop at? How did they find you? It will not open. Okay. It's in one of these seedy sections. Oh, here he is. The black cat deals in rare goods that cannot be found in normal shops. If you misplace an important item, you may find it for sale here later. Black cat can also create counterfeit versions of certain items for you. These forgeries look just like, but do not possess the power of the real thing. Still, such items do have their uses. I'm not really sure what to do with the forgeries. The Duke? Now why would I place my trust in such as him? Even the daftest of dragons will ill fall before a human. So either the good Edmund is a fake, not that I can cast stones here, else he's no human. Either way, I'm not eager to give the duchy over to him. I see. If he's the sort of demon fit to slay a dragon, what's to stop him from demanding human sacrifices and the like? Nothing. That's what. I'm sure you'll find all you need. Sells fairy stone. Skeleton key. That's a big one. <clears throat> Take one of those. Opens up uh, locked doors. We want that wake stone shard for sure. It's a big time item. Oh, look at these. They're all hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow, 500,000 for that. Oof. The Saurian Blade. And that's not even as nice as our weapon. They look really cool, though. Look at them. The Dowsing Spikes. Griffin Bane. Sure looks cool. Hmm. An astonishingly light bow capable of dealing equally astonishing damage to griffins and other flying monsters. So these weapons have special uses. A bow crafted from the hide of a divine creature attacking foes without their notice can sap their health. So the repeller bow, if we hit them without us no them noticing, we can take their health. Really cool stuff. The Worm Hunt Mantle. The cloak of those tasked with protecting the realm from dragons. The form of a worm is visible in the weave. Cool. I like that thing. But I'm not interested in spending all that money on there. This place's gonna last us a little while here. Anytime. And we'll find better weapons than those out there. By far better weapons. Mm. I just wanted to show you guys where he was at. Uh-huh. I've learned of this area. <laughs> have you? So have I. Learn that we need to get the hell out of here and go somewhere else. So, like I said way back in the second or third episode of Let's Play, we're going to travel back to Bitter Black Isle using our eternal fairy stone. Can we drop our port crystal here? No, but it's okay because I think we can travel back to Grand Soren using our Eternal Fairy Stone. So you just go click and use that, and yeah, we've got two places Grand Soren and Casardis. So this is the only fast travel method in the game. You can find four crystals. I think I found five or six my first playthrough. Um, and then if you do New Game Plus, you can find five or six more, but that's it. So then you can have 12 spots where you can fast travel, but the six ends up being more than enough, to be honest between some other places that you find. 
Okay, let's just go in here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hello, friend. It gives me chills just to think of it. Ah! Uh, I was. I didn't. Uh, I'll make no excuse, cousin. I hid in the well for fear of the dragon. Let me tell you this. You'd be wise to keep your distance from that pit. I was too craven to venture far. And lucky thing, a queer growl echoed back with the sound of water from further in. There's aught down there. Mark my words. I could feel it, I could. You not see me going back down there to find what? You mean to go down there? You're all right. Let's check it out. Here, if you're set on going, take this with you. It should have some use to it left. I'll not soon forget your bravery, cousin. Pray, just come back alive. <clears throat> the mysterious island known as Bitter Black Isle has appeared. Some refuge I chose, eh? Hey. I heard a lot. <sighs> At night. To find a way to the island. Okay, let's check out this first before we go over to the pier to check out Bitter Black Isle. This looks oh, excuse me, Dripstone Cave. So we gotta turn our lantern on. So if you haven't bought a lantern yet, this will be probably the first spot in the game where you actually are given a lantern. Which way should we go, Arisen? I hear running water from around. I feel familiar with this area now. Let's go this way. This bridge is too far to use. Is there no way down? Let's have a walk. Let's go down here. Huh. Uh, I've forgotten pretty much all of this. Oh no, my lantern's out. That's not good. See how splashing around the water will put your lantern out? Now we're in trouble. It's really hard to see. Trying to fight back in the pitch black. Man, that would suck. Get up here and dry off. You're gonna restore my health. Oh, I nice. shouldn't climb up here. Wow. Damn bats. Huh. We've got a choice.
leap in numbers are recently. I don't care what it is. Got a small fish. So that's pretty easy. What else is in the cave? Can I turn my lantern back on now? With me, want more gold, more gold. We always want more gold. Remember, you gotta be quicker than your pawns grabbing stuff. You gotta remember before you get rid of them to take it away from them. Let's see where this leads. Okay, this leads to that cave right outside of Granis, north of the encampment, remember? Look nice people on the road, that's cool. Let's go ahead and use our fast travel. Experience, guys. A little money, a little realm, a few realm crystals, a few discipline points. At this stage of the game, we still need some of that. Let's turn our lantern off. Let's go see what that guy says about us surviving the sorrows. You've slain the monsters of the well, have you? Truly, you are a wonder, cousin. Now I think upon it, twas my hiding in the well what brought the danger to light. I take no credit, mind. I simply feared I'd be blamed for releasing monsters upon the village for having opened up the well. Tis a relief and all you're doing, cuz. Here, I owe you at least this much for all you've done. I shall strive to learn from your example. Commit myself to becoming a soldier fit to defend the land and its people. Honest. 1500 experience, 1000 gold. Cool. I actually leveled us up. What's up? He's fortunate we stemmed the threat ere it reached the village. <laughs> that voice. If I'd known that was your voice, I wouldn't have picked you. Familiar with this area now. Salutations. Okay, so the reason we came back here is to go check out the Bitter Black Isle. See if we can snag some weapons from there. Oi, good fisher. It is a matter of warding the village from crime. I would ask your help. Not oh, now, sir. Still, no, that I. What can I do you for? You seem tired, cousin. Come to be. Wait, my bad. Damn it, I wanted to stay till night. So used to stay until morning. What kind of quests are there? Seems a fair place to rest. Goblins, harpies. So the last two are escort quests. We're not taking those. Aha, I'm so much taller than you. Your aid is needed. Please, cousin. What can I do you for? You seem tired, cousin. So be it. You look dead tired, cousin. Okay, now it's night time. <clears throat> so to access the Bitter Black Isle DLC, you have to get past the encampment and get past the Hydra. 
And I think once you've taken the Hydra, the Grand Soren, then it opens up. And here it is. One of the best DLCs ever. This game is full of side quests that are really interesting and fun to do, and we'll do a bunch of them as we go, but we're not going to do all of them. Like that guy we passed, we're probably not going to do that one. Just as you'd expect. You. You can see me. The newer one known to the dragon, bound within the eternal ring. I have dire need of the arisen strength. Please, sir. Will you lend me your aid? You have my help. eternal thanks. You speak now to a shadow of sorts. My flesh resides elsewhere. I would take you there now, if it please you. Let's rock and roll. So, this is Bitter Black Isle. And I won't talk much about it. Um, I actually haven't beaten this DLC. I've beaten the main game. I ask you, is that the fate you've chosen of your own will? Very mysterious intro. I love this music. You are arisen. So cool. We stand now on Bitter Black Isle, far as sea from the cove we departed. I would ask you to explore its depths. you off with so meager an explanation but I fear I myself do not know it better my past my aims in coming here all of it is lost as in a fog all I know is that I like you was called here and am bound to stay I sensed you in the distance and called to you for help I knew somehow as by instinct that you could grant the wish of the one who dwells below. Just as I know my role here is to aid you in that pursuit. Grant the wish of the one who resides below. I am versed in Should you in your travels find such ensorcelled objects, pray, bring them to me. The procedure requires but a few rift crystals, and it is a service I would gladly tender. I shall aid you however I can, for therein lies my own path forward. Pray, take care. Phew, babe. So we can find items. If you've cursed goods on hand and a rift crystals to spend, she can purify the items for you. So we'll find some uh, cursed items throughout here. And obviously, like it said, she'll purify them for us. We're not going to really spend too much time here. We're just going to run through and grab as much good stuff as we can. Mahogany cape. That's really good. save the game because I can't remember the last time we saved. Checkpoints will save your game. Progress checkpoints will save your game. Resting at an end will. But you need to manually save your game every once in a while. Remember, there's only one save file. It is a pot crystal. It is a pot crystal. Sure is. 
Crumbling letters have been etched upon it, but they are indecipherable. Monument of Remembrance. Oh, shoot. I know I can go down there. That's so cool. Crystal. Nice, that was 400 rift crystals. That was really big. It's gotta be the way it came down. That man, the, yeah, the platforming in this game is just excellent. So, gotta be careful we don't really get in any fights with anything. Ring of Prepare. Magical ring, height resistance to thunder. Heed these words, all who enter this place. Do not think. Just set one foot in front of the other, and by the Maker's love, keep swinging. The moonlight lends this place an other world. Pay their words, no heed. Or... Their lives hold. All the way down here, huh? So let's use this. There's most physical debilitations. Oh no. We can't actually stay fight these guys. We gotta keep running. Oh my god. I forgot about that guy. We just gotta keep running. Dude, ignore that guy. Let's go. Ignore it, guys. Ignore it. Nice, we made it guys. Awesome. So that little run right there is pretty much what we were trying to do without dying and losing all of our pawns, especially our main pawn. Those daggers so bad. <clears throat> Welcome, good reason. Hmm. Three dice this one. A week, perhaps. A favorite game of mine gets in the lifespan of those who enter these halls. Nothing personal, mind. A rest easy, friend. Three score guesses here now have yet to hit the mark once. <laughs> Someone's looking for me. Then they spit his own to stranger folk than even I'd imagine. An honest mistake, most like. I've been down here half an age, and I want some I know anyone. Now, will you have a look? 
I'll see you don't regret it. Rarify, I think that's just... We can't do any of that yet. Now, will you have a look? I'll see you don't... What would it be, then? What do you have to buy, sir? Yep, you got all sorts of stuff here. This is pretty much all the good endgame items. God and anaphylactic. Consume it to completely recover your health. Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? Vivifying inset. Use it to completely recover the health of the entire party. I don't know. I don't really feel like spending $45,000 on that. Although it is cool. Martyr's Talisman, Charm was worn by a fiercely POS individual, uses the experience gained by slaying foes for a period of time. Dreaming Nostrum. Oh, okay, this makes you one rank lighter as far as encumbrance. Bunch of lift stones. We'll take you back to the entrance of Bitter Lake Isle. Bitter Black Isle. Oh, now here's some good weapons here. Or maybe not. I mean, these weapons suck. It's a bunch of junk. Wouldn't it be then? Now, will you have a look? I'll see you don't regret it. Wouldn't it be then? Wouldn't it be then? Then you take one lift stone so we can travel back to the beginning. Those lift stones transport you back to the very entrance of Bitter Black Isle. They won't take you anywhere else. Wouldn't it be then? Now, will you have a look? Wouldn't it be then? Which one was it? Double vault? Yeah. Huh, is that just a passive skill? I don't see it anywhere. Wouldn't it be then? No, no. If you have weapons or armor that have strengthened and worm fire, you can spend rift crystals to have them further improved. 12,000 XP, just like that. Boom. 20,000 gold, just like that. Because he was the arisen we were supposed to be looking for. Yeah, now I got double jump. Check that out. That's sick. That's totally going to come in handy. I wonder what's up here. I love how you can just like go all over the place. Rift fragment, that's awesome. Probably can't go in there. Wakestone shard, look at that. Excellent, excellent. So we really don't want to fight anybody here, we're just looking for treasure chests and easy loot we can take. Like the Wakestone Shard, that easy experience of 12,000. Yeah, like a large coin purse. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, poor dear. Nice, we find a lot of rift crystals. Sound good. She no, she can't wear them. What's that? Not for Stratos. <laughs> Should 
jewel of time. Think that thing speeds stuff up or slows stuff down. A magic gem infused with the power to induce torpor. Yeah, it slows people down. Free spoken earring. Magical earring, curious light, heightens resistance to silencing. Okay, so we'll always be able to cast spells with that. Ooh, look at that giant coin pouch, 10,000 gold. Uh-huh, well rewarded for breaking stuff in here. It's different than everywhere else. Balmy perfume, there's nothing but good, nothing but good rewards down here. Isn't that cool how we just did that? But we need a little shard to get in there. Whoops. We'll get in there eventually. One day. Yep, we need a void key. We're not going to get much farther with that one. Which I was fine with because I wasn't really about getting that far. I just wanted to come in here and get some quick items. of lift stone. Screw you. Skeleton key. That is really good. So we can go in here. And I guess we will for the moment and just look. Worst comes to worst, we'll bust out a lift stone and get out of here. <clears throat> so we're gonna end the episode here. And we'll continue on with our bitter black isle. I wouldn't even call it exploration, it's just a quick yeah, quick foray in here for some equipment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>